Hi guys, today I'm going to tell you about my crazy summer that I've had. I know it's a long time uh, since summer has gone, but I just get myself around to look into the pictures through the videos and I thought I'll do a video about this. This summer was full of face painting, body painting, meeting with my face painting friends whom I met only on Facebook before and I had a chance to meet many of them in real life. I have visited a lot of museums as I usually do. One of them was National Museum in Warsaw and actually before the internet age visiting museums was my main source of inspiration. It has changed a lot since then but I still managed to find something interesting which I wouldn't be able to find in front of my computer. For example, I met a student, Ira Krolevsky, who does a reproduction of famous painting of uh, Jan Matejko, The Battle of Grunwald. And the interesting fact that the Battle of Grunwald cannot be moved because it's too weak. So after the reproduction is done, it can travel around the cities and represent the original. Another interesting thing that I wanted to point out, that the artists don't actually need to be dirty when they're painting. Look at the artist who was just away from the, his painting. And so I can tell about myself. All my painting clothes actually are clean. I wouldn't like to say that all artists that are clean, some prefer messy style of work. There was one more thing that actually surprised me. I normally perceive Poland as a very traditional country. Especially if we speak of Halloween, many people are against the painting monsters and skulls. So these kind of pictures were rather a positive surprise for me. I was eating very healthy this summer. I'm generally on plant-based diet. Um, that means that I eat only fruits and vegetables and I don't really eat much sweets at all, sometimes, generally I don't. And my mom made it possible for me because Poland is great for having a really good food, but if it comes to being vegan or like eating like vegan, it's just crap. Um, there are not many places to eat vegan. I still manage to be quite healthy thanks to my mom who's got her own garden. So she was picking up the fresh uh, fruits and vegetables and making salads for me all the time, every day. This made my life so much easier and I could go back to my work without thinking of feeding myself. So, going back to face painting. On my way to Krakow uh, for my face painting workshops, I met Dorota, which runs uh, Dorota's Freaks um, YouTube channel. We kept commenting on each other's posts for some time and now we had occasion to meet in Katowice. We had a lovely chat with a cup of coffee and hopefully there will be uh, some collaborations coming out of this uh, meeting. I'm visiting Krakow for a workshop and just now we arrived to, um, to Krakow in the night and we decided to have a nice walk and it's a beautiful city with lots of people partying around and behind me is a castle which is called Wawel. This is a river underneath. That was a lovely walk with uh, Yolanta and Alexandra who helped me to organize the workshop. And of course, as usual, there were lots of positive emotion, lots of laugh, lots of painting uh, while we were going over animal, pa animal uh, masks painting and also a little introduction to UV painting. Just now I'm in Krakow on the main square and this is very beautiful square uh, with a blue fountain and the horse is going around. Sunny and warm for a change from the Great Britain and uh, I'm meeting here my friend Eugenia Green. Say hello. Hello. It was lovely to meet Eugenia for the first time because she is actually a part of our Magical Unicorns band. So we spoke a lot before, but we never actually met each other. Eugenia lives in Ukraine. It was a pure coincidence that she was at Krakow at the same time. We decided to visit um, Harry Potter's bar. And we're drinking some juices and chatting. What I love about Polish summer is that there is always hot there. And that was nice for a change to go to a cool cafe.
Another person who was very glad to see this summer was Kate from Face Painting Polska. She is a very good friend of mine and I know her for a few years already. She is not only an amazing face painter, she also is great at whatever she does. We spent a couple of days at her family house near the lake and uh, she was teaching me to do hula hoop. We had some time to chat and relax. Apart from all of that, Kate and her family producing the most amazing cakes I have ever seen. Another time when I was in Warsaw, she invited me to a dancing parties, and I can safely say that I was the best dancer there. Mm, <laughs> maybe from the end, but that was great experience anyway, and I was just enjoying watching them. Thanks to Kate, I also was able to work for LEGO, which I really enjoyed, and it also was interesting working on Polish market and see um, the different requests that actually children wanted from Scottish ones. In the meantime, I found out about the Museum of Print, and then I had to visit it and make my own paper there. I also managed to save a little birdie, which uh, fell out, out of its nest. Then I was invited by Monika Nizhnik from Awesome Blossom to stay a couple of days with her family uh, at the summer house where she stayed. There was a blast of painting inspiration. We painted on everything we could find. It was legs, arms, hands, chest, shoulders, whatever uh, we could find. And Monika painted me, I painted her. Monika treated me with very good food. We went to swim at lake, eat some berries, and generally had a very good and productive time. Then it was time to start preparing for World Body Painting Awards. It was my first time that I took part in such a big event. I was really chuffed to take a third place in this event and this is a huge achievement for me. It was also a huge stress for me and my team. So after washing off all of these paints for an hour, my model Anastasia took me to this nice place. It is called Closer and it has a great music and huge outdoor space. Obviously, I couldn't do without visiting museums in Kiev, and I have done uh, quite a lot of walking with sore legs. But about this, I have another video where I have more shots of the places that I visited and also the awards itself. I could finally relax when I came back and um, just relax visiting more crazy places and doing more crazy things. I spent some time with my brother at the lake and also finally I got to swim on the motor jet. Last year I did a driver license, I never got to use it. So I was trying to make it up this year and I had quite a few goes. I don't really know how I managed to squeeze all of these events into my summer time, but I was looking forward to one more event where um, Sally Ann was doing a workshop in Poland. That was, I think, her first time being in Poland with a workshop. And um, I was uh, there as a translator. So it was quite a new experience for me as well. And I haven't met Sally Ann before. We were only chatting through Facebook, and that was lovely to meet her for the first time in real life. Sally Ann is a producer of training boards and she also makes amazing palettes which I use at nearly all of my events. And since I'm constantly using Sally Ann's boards, I also made a video uh, where I talk about them and show different types of them. So if you're interested, I'll place the link somewhere around so you can have a look at it as well. By the way, I have a relatively new personal channel where I speak about healthy lifestyle, sport, travel, creative pictures as I'm interested in photography as well. Um, also a little bit about natural remedies, no face painting there. On YouTube there are no videos yet, but I have a few recordings done, so I hope to start uploading very soon. And for those of you who are interested only in face painting, I've got an Instagram channel where you can follow me as well. And I upload so much more pictures in there because I don't do videos, obviously, for each of my painting, but I have so much more there. So um, if you want to follow me uh, on my recent paintings, that will be the place to go. Thank you very much for watching. In one of my next videos, I'm going to upload information about UK face painting convention, in which I took part in October. So see you very, very soon and have a great time. Bye.